Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cover, I am Penge, and welcome to Pyramida, or Pyramida, or Pyramida, I don't really know how to pronounce the name of the game, but welcome to it anyway. So this is a very lovely little settlement builder game, so it's got farms and windmills and mines and all that sort of classic settlement builder stuff, and it's all presented in this very lovely sort of minimalistic pixel art style, it's really really pretty to look at, but there is apparently some evil, some threat that lurks in the darkness at night time, and there is a strange distant traveller that is apparently going to turn up to try to help us avoid our demise, which all sounds very exciting and intriguing. So there is a little bit of mystery too. It's not just a straight, flat out, you know, build yourself a little settlement and see how well you do. There is something else going on in the background there. So yeah, very intriguing indeed. It is currently available on Itch.io. And of course, if you're interested, there is a link to the Itch.io page in the video description below. So you can go and check it out and all that kind of stuff. But I think we'll just dive in, shall we? Let's just get on with it and play some of that game name there that I can't pronounce. And here we go. So what have we got? We've got ourselves a little house just here. Oh, that's a town centre. Okay. And there is a small shed next to it. And then we've got a couple of people. You are, you're a person. Absolutely. Can confirm. And, and another person. Are you a small person? You're a kid. Okay. Now I am aware that we can control the people. We can move them about so they can go exploring. So there we go. We'll send you exploring over there. You go over there. Let's see what useful things we can find. There is a food meter that is very slowly ticking down as the uh, you know, people eat the food and time passes. And then we've got resources over here. Let's have a look at those in a moment. Let's just sort of get you going that way. And you've discovered, I assume that's like a forest or something like that, or some woods or whatever. Um, so yeah, that's, I don't know what that is, wheat possibly. That might be wheat. And then wood, and then I assume that's a plank. That looks like a bit of stone. And I'm not entirely sure what that might be. Don't really know what that thing is there. Right, you come down here. And you come down here, have a little sort of wander about. Um, so what have we found? So we've got berry bushes. Uh, that's got that's got food in. That could be actually that's probably quite an important thing. Uh, that's a dead tree. That's got some wood. Um, does that do anything? That is grass. Ah, that's what that thing is. Ah, it's grass. Okay, yes, it's like you know sort of hay or whatever. Um, okay, right. So you gather some food. Maybe gathering food is going to be quite a sensible idea. And um, you can, I don't know, gather some grass for now. Just gather some stuff. And um, let's have a look what we can build. So we can build some stuff. So we can build ourselves a house for two new people. That's probably quite a good idea. Or a farm to grow wheat. Build near water to regrow. We have not found any water yet. Uh, there's stuff for industry. So log sheds uh, for storing wood. And the hay barn stores hay, obviously. The sawmill then makes planks. Okie dokie. And then there's military. So an archer hut enables archery. That sounds quite useful. And then walls obviously use just get in the way a bit. Okay, right. Well, that's fine. I mean, I'm thinking maybe building a house might be quite a good call. That might be really quite useful. A house would be a good thing. So um, yeah, okay. Let's pop a little house down. We'll have a house. Now, what do we need for a house? Three bits of the, of the grass, which we do have actually. We've got three out of four. We'll let you grab that last bit of grass stuff there so there you go and i imagine yeah right now get building go over there and do some building please go over there and do some building splendid okay now, there are these animals wandering around i wonder if we can go and get them can we hunt them we'll have a look as soon as the um as soon as we gather one more lot of food so you're busy on that oh yeah any wood yeah we've not got any wood um there's a tree there go go and chop that tree down in fact there's a tree over there as well ah we can turn the camera can't we oh that's very pretty oh i like that it moves really, really smoothly. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, that, that looks very good. I like that. Right, you, um, go and chop that tree down as well. Let's go and get some wood. Let's get this house finished. Let's go forth and just complete this house. Um, so you've got the wood. Have you got wood in your hands? Hang on. It looks like you have. Yes. We're just sort of standing there looking a bit confused. Bring it over to, bring it over to here. You're both stood there just holding wood in your hands, looking like it's the most confusing thing you've ever seen. Okay, what do you expect? You were chopping a tree. Do we need to tell you to go and build with the wood? Okay, that seems a little bit weird. Seems a little bit obscure, but okay. Right, and now... Well, now they're kind of designated as builders, I guess. We'll go back and do some chopping of wood. Oh, I wonder if it's because there's nowhere to store the wood. So they're sort of stood there going, I don't know what you want me to do with this. Where shall I put this? That, I guess, can only store the grass stuff. Okay, right. Okay, right. That's fine. That's fine. That makes sense. I'm, I'm with it now. Right, you... Um, come back and become a builder and then you down here can also then become a builder which is lovely and then you go back and get another bit of wood from that tree 
So you can choppity chop that. And then you can now gather some food. And you can come over here and finish this house. And then it might make sense to get us a log shed. It looks like there is a lot of wood over in that direction. So we'll put, uh, we'll put a little thing there. There we go. We'll put a log shed over in that direction over there. And this should construct as a house. Yes. Population is now three out of five. So hopefully some new people will move in. And then we can have some more people to go around and do some stuff. Because at the moment we've only got two workers really. We've only got two people that are going around doing any form of work. Which we could do with a few more. Although it seems that we have another child. We have another kid. But not another grown up. So we've still only got two. Have we got to wait for the children to grow up? Oh my goodness, we grow up quicker, kids. <laughs> grow up quicker. It's brilliant. You can get a job and everything. It's, oh, it's wonderful. Oh, you won't believe how great it is. Um, ah, right. Okay. It's gone to night time, which in the, uh, you know, the sort of the game sort of blurb, it does say that there is some sort of mysterious kind of threat lurking in the darkness. We will wait to see what that is. Ah, right. Hang on a minute. We've, um, we've not got, yeah, we have to go through that rigmarole again, but we also don't have enough grass to build the log shed either okay right let's move time on a little bit quick and we'll just see if anything does look like it's coming to get us it doesn't look like there's anything you know imminently coming to you know, eat us or whatever oh there's a thing there's a thing what is that it looks like a terrifying monster what's that it's a skeleton there's a terrifying scaly belly okay what do we do with the skeleton? I, I don't know. I mean, I kind of feel like we haven't got any military. I imagine if we have an archer hut, we can probably go and kill that. You, stay away from the skeleton. I don't think we can fight the skeleton. I get the impression that that thing will just kill us. I don't like it. I think we need archers because we've got no defense. We've got nothing military built. So I imagine when we have archers, we can then just go, yay, and we can fire at the skeleton. But right now, yeah, right now, we do not have any kind of way of stopping the skeleton. So it'd be nice if it could... You know, if it could go away, that would be <laughs> that would be wonderful. If you could just clear off skeleton, that would be absolutely aces. Uh, okay, right. You're gathering various bits and bobs. Are you gathering food now? Okay, that's good. Food is good. Food is always useful to have. Right, top up the food. And we've topped up the food quite a bit. Right, go back and get that grass from there. Keeping an eye on the terrifying scaly belly. There's no more. There's no more skeletons. Okay, lovely. Right, so let's watch you get that sorted. So I think we've got enough grass now to finish that thing. So go back and finish building the thing there. So you go back and finish that. Oh, one of the kids is a bit near the skeleton. Child, stay away from the terrifying undead. It, <laughs> it won't be good for you. It will not end well. It won't end well. It will kill you. I mean, I was going to say it'll eat you, but it won't eat you. It'll just kill you because they're skeletons and they're just you know, jealous of your fleshy bodies there. Um, okay, right. Now we need some, some wood. So we're going to have to do this silly thing where we have to keep chopping the wood and then taking it back, which is a little bit of a faff, I'll be honest. But there we go. Never mind. That's what we've got to do. So chop, chop, chop. Uh, right, bring it round that way to make it a bit easier. Go to there. How many of those do we need? Right, so do that. Go back and chop. And it's daytime. Hurrah. Right, the scaly belly should hopefully clear off. And then back here. Chop, chop, chop. And then back to there. And then that should finish that off. So we should now have a little woodshed. Right. We will gather some more stuff. We'll gather some more wood and chuck it into there, which is lovely. Uh, okay. So you're, you're busy doing that. You're getting food. Who are, who are you? You're one of the kids. <gasps> one of the kids has grown up. Okay. This is wonderful. Right. Go get food. Go get food. Absolutely. Right now. Go and acquire much in the way of lovely berries. And then, do you know what, actually? Gather one lot of berries. We'll let you gather one lot. We could do with you doing a bit of exploring. Because we could do with finding water. Because I want to build a farm. And a farm works best next to water. Because, you know, that's useful for things to grow. So let's have a little wander about. And just see if we can find a farm. What's that? That is some some bricks. Some blocks. Okay, right. That's some sort of stone type thing. Okay, let's go up this way then. Go up here. We'll just sort of scout around the edge. Just see if we can find anything. There is some more stone and uh can we have some water water there is water all the way it's not that, not that far away oh that's wonderful right head over this way have a little explore around this little oasis which is splendid okay right i'm very happy with that that is wonderful have we filled in the yeah okay yes we've had we've got too much too much wood as well now so um right you can go and oh, how do we tell you to put the wood down put the wood down Put the wood down. You don't need to do that anymore. Maybe we need to do some building. Maybe we need to build something. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and, ah, two more kids. 
Oh, okay. That's good. Uh, right. You, uh, okay. Build a farm. Because the farm is going to require some materials, isn't it? So build a farm. And can we build an ear, sort of a, a nice farm? Can we build a farm that's got water on it? An irrigated farm. That will do the job. Right. You go and work on that, please. You go and work on that. And as soon as you take some wood out of there, he will be able to then go and replenish that. So you can run in, which is splendid. I feel like we need to get the archer thing as well in. We need to get the archery thing sorted because that's just going to be bad as well. Right, so you're gathering... Oh, you're gathering all sorts of stuff now. Yeah, there you go. you got grass. We're getting lots of grass. Is it getting late? It's getting late. It's getting late. Oh, no, right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There were two lots of bones there. So presumably the bones that lie on the ground turn into skeletons at night time. Okay, we just need to be a little bit wary of things then. That farm will be in. That should hopefully sort out our food. I think maybe we set out an archer hut as well. Just so we can maybe defend ourselves a bit. Because I'm a little bit concerned that we're completely defenceless. We're just really useless right now. You're just sort of stood there, not doing anything. Um, can you take that over there? Just take it over to the uh, take it over to the farm. That's got to be a useful thing to do. Just drop off some stuff. Right, now come over here. You can work on this. You can start working on the archery thing. We've got a farm. We've got a farm. Hang on. You can go work on the farm and provide us with lots of lovely food. Because food is always key in these games. You can do everything else. You can go and build houses and gather all the other resources you want. But food is always key. Because obviously, yeah, if you run out of food, it's game over and everything stops. So we need to make sure that we have lots and lots of food, please. So, um... Yeah, okay, we have an irrigated farm. Splendid. So that should provide an okay amount of food. Yeah, I feel like now we need to get the archer hut stuff done. So let's do that. Is that another one of our kids grown up? Oh, yeah, splendid. Right, um, grass. Go and get lots of grass stuff because we're going to need that for the um for the roof. In fact, you know what, actually? Go and help out. Go and help get this thing constructed really, really quickly. And then we can fire on the skeletons. So yeah, they're just chucking all the wood in at the moment. Are we going to have enough wood? I don't know. We can get you to go and chop some more wood for the uh, building. And you're up there just looking a bit confused. Bring that down. Bring that down. Is that is that food? I don't know if that's food or not. I'm now a bit confused as to whether that's food or not. I do not know. Um, okay, lovely. It's daytime. We don't have to worry about skeletons anymore. This is good news. How are we looking for this? We need grass now. But we'll leave you to top that back up. And then the grass could come down from the farm, which is lovely. Okay, we might need a um, a grass shed as well, or a hay barn, or whatever it is. A hay barn. That might be really useful as well. If we just pop one of those up there, that's going to be handy. But yeah, this is more important. If we could absolutely load this up, that would be grand. Oh, hang on. I've just clicked on an antelope purely by accident, just because it was in the way of this building. And I clicked on it, and it's got five out of five, some sort of meat across the top there. Can we go and... I mean, how do we do this? Can we go and kill an antelope? I don't know. I mean, we've just clicked on it. Do we just do we just go up to it and just shout at it? Maybe we should you know, surprise it by shouting boo very loudly. I don't know. Uh, okay. Okay. That's very interesting. How much do we need here? We need five more grass to go into there. Our food is looking... It's looking okay, our food. It's not looking brilliant. It, I, I'd like it to be at least halfway, but at least it's not right down the bottom end. It's looking sort of all right. It's not terrible. Um, yeah, we need to get this done. I wonder... I wonder... Because just here... Just here. Nobody's building that thing anymore. Nobody's building the thing. Hang on, hang on. Oh, because... Oh, hang on a minute. Right. Go and build... Go. Hang on. Right. Go and put some stuff into there. Go and put some stuff into that building just there. So you can go bang, 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 bang. Right. And now come and finish this building, please. <laughs> okay. This is a bit silly. Right. So now, Oh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on a second. You. You have grown up as well. You can go and do some stuff over here. So now we have five adults that are able to go and work around the place. So yeah, we'll gather lots of food with you two. And um, yeah, we need this. I wonder if, because it says up here, enables archery. I wonder if the archer's hut means we can then, I don't know, we all get bows and arrows or whatever. I wonder if that's what that means. I do not know, but I imagine that's the case. We will find out when this gets up to 10. And it's looking like it's going to be finished. Right, it's finished. So you... When you have dropped off your last bit of food there, come this way. Right, hang on a minute. So come here. There is a thing down here. Hunt. Hunt is now an option. Oh, this is wonderful. Okay, right, hang on. You can go and hunt one of these things down here. 
Be wary of the scaly bellies. Don't want the scaly bellies to come and cause us any problems. And yeah, we need this hay shed done as well because yeah, the poor farm is just sort of stood around now with an armful of hay going, hello, <laughs> what do I do with this? Oh, look, they are. They've got bows. I mean, they're terrible shots, but they've got bows. Come on, come on. D just a good shot on this. It'd be really great. That'd be wonderful, thanks. And then we get some food and that's got to be a good thing. Ah, look, it caused some damage. It's kind of wandered off into the, into the uh, unknown there. Uh, where is it? Oh, there, is that it? Is that it? Can we collect that, please? Can we have that? That's now ours. Yeah, absolutely. We will harvest this and we will take that back. And that has got to be a good amount of food. That's got to be a nice amount of food. Okay, we will be wary of skeletons down there. I've been a little bit sort of lackluster with looking for the skeletons. Uh, there's a person there. What do you want to do now? What do you want to do? Um, how about we build another house? There is a skeleton. There's a skeleton up the top. Uh, let's put it... I mean, we could put it next to the other one. It's absolutely fine. You can have neighbours. You can have a neighbour. Everyone needs good neighbours. Because <laughs> good neighbours means good friends. Right, uh, right. You run away. Run away because the scaly belly looks like they're coming after you. And that's that's not good. That's not a good sign. We don't want to lose one of our people. We've got up to five adults that can work on the farm. We do not want to lose them. Can we fire at the skeletons? We can fight. We can fight the skeletons. Okay, you come the heck down here. We'll leave it for now. That skeleton's just sort of... It's now just, just menacing a palm tree. It's absolutely fine for now. But yeah... We can go and do that. Right, we're down here just getting some more food from this um, this antelope here. But I imagine, imagine they're going to stay on hunting duty, are they? I'm not entirely sure. Right, is anyone building? If we got a builder, what are you doing? You are, I don't know what your job is currently. I don't know what you're doing. Can you go and build? That would be great. If you could do some building, that would be splendid. Right, the scaly belly is, um, has wandered off. It's wandered off. Go back to doing some farming. And we are getting more meat from down there. Okay, that's really good. Hunting is going to help a lot. That's going to give us some food, which is splendid news. Okay, we need this thing in now, then. We need to get this hay shed constructed. I wouldn't be... I wouldn't object to a bit of daylight. Right, hang on, hang on. Run away. Run away. The skeletons are getting a bit near. They are getting a little bit feisty, are the skeletons. Get off our farm. Get off my land. Uh oh, the skeletons over here as well. Right, there are many skeletons. Right, run away from the skeletons. Leg it from the skeletons. We need daylight to come up. Can we please have the sun? Love the sun. Where is the sun? We need to get the hay barn finished, really. Right, and then you can stop hunting for now. How much wood have we got in the woodshed? Eight out of 12. Um, go and chop down some trees for now. We'll top upon wood. Oh, thank goodness. Right, okay. <laughs> right, uh, I don't know who was doing what, but right back, as as you were, everybody, as you were. That looks like a, a building plot when we lay the building plots down. Uh, okay, well, continue doing that. What's that over there? There's a thing. There really is a thing. What is this? <laughs> what? There's an alien? Okay. There's an alien. Oh, he's a sad alien. Okay, and a shipwreck. So there is an alien. And there is the alien's UFO. Okay, this this has got very odd very quickly. Hang on, hang on. We'll, 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 we'll come back to the alien in a minute. We're going to get this thing first. We're going to hunt this thing because uh, yeah, we want some food. Oh, beautiful. There we go. Right, so yeah, that'll help with the food. Um, there's something here which looks like somebody's been building something here. Is there another tribe of people next to us? Are there people next door? And how long is all this stuff taking? My goodness me. Um, so a bit of uh, grass for that and a bit of wood and that is taking a bit of wood. Okay, so the hay shed should be done soon and we've got more food coming in. Um, yeah, so it looks like somebody's building something here. So yeah, are there other people here? Is there an enemy tribe over here somewhere? I do not know. And then of course, yeah, there's the pressing question of, of the alien. There's the, the alien in the room there. Um, okay. <laughs> Right. Well, when this house is done, we might get a couple more people and then we might go over and see what the alien is up to. <laughs> I don't really know why there's an alien. I mean, I like that there is. Do you know what? You're not doing anything. You're not doing anything right now. Um, and it doesn't look like super late. So come over and have a chat with an alien. I don't Are you supposed to go and talk to the alien? I mean, the alien's sad. The alien seems like it doesn't look like a feisty alien. It does look a little bit like a Slovene from Doctor Who, doesn't it? It's got that sort of uh, green kind of neck thing going on. But uh, okay, right, well, we'll send that person over to have a chat with this sad alien. It was quite a good trip because we have found some more water, which is very useful. That's very, very handy. Um, okay, hello, alien. Uh, okay, right, so the alien's acknowledged us. Hello, I uh, 
How are you? Don't kill us. You want to... What's that? You're pointing at a pyramid? You're pointing at a pyramid. Okay. What do you want us to do with the pyramid? And then we're going to look at your ship. Can we look at your ship? I don't know. What do you do now? I don't really know what we do. Okay. You want us to help you. Can we talk to you? Hello. Um, okay. <laughs> I don't really know what you want us to do, Mr. Alien. I don't know. You want us to build a pyramid. Is it this? Ah, maybe it's the pyramid. It says pyramid on it. Oh, we're supposed to finish this so our alien friend can take off. Ah, okay, right. That's wonderful. Right, okay. So we need some stone. There are some stone blocks over there. I feel like we should possibly sort out stuff first. Right, so our, our chap can come back. That's wonderful. Um, and there we go. We've got our other house complete. This is going, this is going well. This is now going okay. The only thing is there is a skeleton that's going to emerge right in the middle of our village just there. And one just there when it gets dark, which is going to be imminent. In fact, everybody, can everybody come down here, please? Get all of the people. You can carry on over there, actually. But let's get you lot over here, away from those skeletons. Because if, if they wake up and you're next to them, they're going to kill you in the face. So let's try and defend ourselves when it gets to night time against the skeletons the alien is <laughs> the aliens come with us hello alien friend can you use a bow and arrow or have you got something slightly better i mean you know like a, a laser ray a, you know like a phase weapon that would be useful that would be great any kind of futuristic tech would be handy because yes we're going to get some skeletons attacking us momentarily okay so night time has come round now can we fight, run away run away absolutely just run away from the skeletons we're going to gather here and then can we can we fight the skeletons can we all just fire at the skeletons and pium, 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 and then run away a bit because we're quite near we're quite near to the skeletons the skeletons are a nuisance aren't they they're a massive nuisance right come this way and then have a shot when we get over here. And no, kid, don't go near the skeletons. It's not worth the effort. Um, I, no, 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 no. I want you to fight the skeletons. Not go and do whatever it was that you were doing first. <laughs> go and fight the terrifying skeleton monsters. Because they stop everything we're doing at night time. They stop us going and gathering resources and whatnot. Um, maybe the people that are carrying stuff in their arms, they can't fight. So you... Oh, yeah, but we've got you all selected, haven't we? Ah, oh, don't like it. Don't like it. <laughs> run away. Run away. Running away. Running away from the skeleton. Keep running away. I mean, can the alien do anything? Can the alien fight? The alien has got itself a bow and arrow. <laughs> oh, and it's a rubbish shot. It's a really rubbish shot. Even though the, the, you know, the Slothene, all the way from Raxacorico Falopatorius, cannot have a good shot with a bow and arrow. Okay, we've split our people into two groups. The people that are carrying some stuff and the people that are not. So hopefully the people that are carrying some stuff can fire on you. They can have a little attack with the scaly belly. And these two are just going to stand around for a bit because they've got their arms full. So, uh, right, let's see if we can attack the skeleton. We are going to have to get a little bit near. Right, so, pew, 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 pew. Ooh, oh, crikey, it did take some damage. And another shot. Come on, come on, come on. Right, now back off a little bit. I feel like we need to back away ever so slightly from this thing. Because I feel like it might well come to get us. Okay, another shot. Come on, come on. Another round. Another volley. And it's gone. Oh, and it just vanishes entirely as well. It doesn't just sort of stay on the ground. The bones are now gone. Oh, skelly. Oh, skelly. There's another one over there, which is a little bit annoying. But okay, right. Let's go and fight. You can go back down to the center. Oh, hang on. No, you can go to the center. And you can go to whatever it is. Yeah, and now we're starving. Thanks, skeletons. Thanks a bunch. Right, let's kill the skeletons. Let's kill this skeleton just here because they've made us starve and that's bad. We could do with getting that food in really soon. <laughs> we get that food in, that would be grand. And one last shot on the skelly. One last good shot on the skelly. Quick, 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 quick. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it, somebody. Oh, we might have to run away a little bit. We might just run away. That food needs to go in that house, though. Desperately needs to go in. Right. Fire. 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 Now. Kill it. Oh, that was a bit close. That was a little bit close. And you also need to run away a bit. Because that skeleton is a little bit close. And, yeah, we desperately need food. We really, really need to get some food. Kind of right now. Uh, you go over there and hunt that thing. And everybody else... Uh, hunt this. <laughs> we'll, have a, we'll have a split part, actually. You go there. You hunt that. We need food. We are desperately in need of food because we've been distracted by the silly aliens. Uh, not the aliens. The, the skeletons coming in and causing us all sorts of problems. So, right. Good. Get this food immediately and take it to there. We, we, we need food because 
we're going to be dead very soon. We're all going to starve to death. So the quicker you do this, the quicker you can have your breakfast. Okay, that has worked a treat. Yes, absolutely. So that one there has topped our food up quite nicely. We still do need a lot more, but there's more food coming in from here, which is splendid. Okay, right. That should hopefully sort that out for probably a day or so. If we could get that one as well, that would be great. Uh, right, I've forgotten what everyone was doing. I'm, I've now gone all over the place. And of course, we've got an alien as well. Um, I mean, maybe we should get some walls constructed. Some walls might be quite a useful thing. I mean, oh, and they're quite big. They're quite chunky sections of wall. I mean, could we just place some walls sort of like that? And that might stop the scaly bellies coming in. I mean, only one bit of wood each. And we've got well, up two. So yeah, we might we might have to go and gather some more wood. That's absolutely fine. But that should stop the skeletons coming in from there, which will help us a little bit. So that could be quite handy. We're doing quite a lot of hunting. So we're getting a lot of food from getting these animals. But of course, they're going to run out at some point. I'm looking here. We can get a windmill. It makes bread from wheat. That's what they do. Um, so do we need to get ourselves? It looks like it needs these things. I think we might need to get ourselves a sawmill constructed to make planks from logs and then we can get the windmill in to then make bread from wheat because I guess we have been gathering wheat from this this farm but we're just not able to do anything with it we're just looking at it going I don't know what do we do with this so well yeah let's do this let's get ourselves a sawmill in as well so we'll pop a sawmill I don't know just there that'll do um and um yeah we'll build, build the wall the wall is looking pretty good build the wall so the wall's looking good food is looking absolutely tremendous right now food is looking excellent. I'm very happy with how the food is looking. It's looking really, really high, which is great. Uh, right, so let's reassign everybody then. So yeah, we're going to need some more wood. Uh, in fact, yeah, somebody can go and build that. Our little alien friend can join in and he can go and build this uh, sawmill thing. Okay, it's going to get to night time momentarily and we might need to take on the skeleton again because there's a skeleton in the middle here. So we're going to need to fight this thing. Uh, oh, some terrible shots. Really awful shots. Oh, run away. Absolutely. Just run away. <laughs> run away from the skeleton. Everyone else is still around. Yeah, people can gather food and whatnot. You might possibly want to take a slightly different route. Um, and you stand and fight. Come on. Hit it once. Come on. At least one good hit. Yay! And another hit from you would be mega. Yay! Two hits. Splendid. There is another thing down there that we can go and hunt momentarily, which would be quite nice. Right. Another shot on you, skeleton. Yeah, it was only the fact that you are in our walls it was a bit of a problem and come on one good shot on this oh work lovely lovely wonderful one more shot one more shot come on and boom and gone beautiful okay i don't think there's any more skeletons around to trouble us i noticed down here there is another bit of water which is splendid um okay right what were you doing oh you you were you were delivering food very important and um you maybe you could build another house that could be handy. More population. Then we'll have nine people to go around and do some stuff. Okay, so our extra house is done, which is okay. I mean, it will produce some children for now. So we've got to wait a little while for them to grow up to then become, you know, useful members of the uh, community. But that's fine. That's fine. At least there is now an extra person on the way to becoming an adult. We can go and get some stuff done with. Uh, okay, we still are not able to find any more food. I'm looking around the place with our sort of two people up here, our sort of potential hunters, to try and go and find some uh, some animals around the place. But I cannot find any. I wonder if it's worth you coming this way. You come down here and have a look. Ah, there. there there's one. There's one. Oh, and there's one that we must have injured earlier. Oh, absolutely. Hang on. Come back and we'll have a go at the hurt one. Because why not? Yes. Come back this way. We must get these things. Because food is looking a little bit... I mean, that's okay. It's not looking utterly precarious. But it's not looking wonderful. Ah, we have the sawmill. This is wonderful news. Right, okay. Um, There's a gatherer just there gathering what are you gathering i don't know can you just go over there can you just go over there and do that can we make you drop your food things can we can we drop this stuff i don't know if we can just put that down can we just put that down somewhere oh i want you to go and work in there i want you to work in here please <laughs> i'd like it if you went to work in there that would be great but uh but no you're not gonna okay right you right just keep hunting keep hunting keep shooting things we need the food <laughs> because we can't get anybody to work in here right you go and work in there Go and work in there and we'll try and switch things around a little bit. We are building the walls. These two are out far away. Don't like the fact that that far away. And it's getting up to night time. Our food is looking very dodgy. Come on. We must be able to hit one of these. Yay. Okay, right. This is fun. Can we get that one whilst we're there? Can we fire at that one? Whatever. Just have this one. Bring back some food for us, please. We really do need the food. 
And we are making some planks, which is excellent news. So now we can get a windmill. And I think this is absolutely crucial. We really, really need this in very soon indeed. So uh, let's pop here. I know uh, over here possibly might be quite a good idea. So we'll put that there. And because um, I imagine the wheat has been stored in here somewhere. So then we want to get that done as an absolute matter of urgency. Oh, no. Oh, we built a wall where the food should be coming in. Oh, no. That's not going to help. That's not going to help. Um, and then a mine cam as well. Enables mining. Can we put that somewhere else? How do we get this stone? Is that masonry? How do we do this? What does mine cam get us? Hang on, hang on. Mine cam uh, stores 18 rocks. So can we now can we now get rocks? Is that something we can now do? I'm not entirely sure. Can we go mining now? I don't know. I'm not I'm not fully sure that we can go mining. I'm a bit confused by that. I don't I don't understand that. Can we get these rocks yet? I've just deployed a gate just here because it is a little bit inconvenient that that whole side over there is completely locked off by these walls. So yeah, we've got a gate going in just there. But yeah, I'm quite happy with that little sort of wall there right now. At least that'll keep us a bit safe from the skeletons. I notice that you can have like watchtowers and things. That's very exciting, exciting as well. I do like that. But yeah, we need more food. We really do need more food. We need food urgently. So yeah, we need to get you up here to get the stuff from that animal. And then we quite desperately need this windmill to be in. We need this in as an absolute priority number one kind of job. So, uh, so yes, if we could get on with that, that would be great. They've just dropped the food off, but we are living on the absolute edge. I think we're going to go into starvation unless we can get this windmill done pretty soon. Everybody is on the windmill. Everybody is all over it. Um, okay, right, we need some more food. We need some more food. So we've got what's left in that. One bit is left in here. So maybe you can go and grab that and you just need to find some new sources of food. Really, really quite urgently. I mean, anything over here would be would be great. If there are any animals, any creatures around, we're bringing about one little bit, which is better than no bits. But yeah, here, here, right. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where is it? There. Hunt, slow, slow time down. Hunt this thing. Oh, yes, absolutely. Come, to, come this way. Come this way. That's going to be really helpful. That's a shorter distance. Yeah, we we really need, we need food. We really do need some food. We need some logs and we need some planks. Oh, we're out of logs. We're out of logs because we've turned them all into planks. Oh, botherations. Right, hang on a second. Hang on. Right, you, chop down trees. Uh, everybody chop down trees. All the people, cut down all of the trees all of the time. Oh no, we've got into starving. We've gone into starving. We are bringing back a bit of meat. We've got a hunter bringing back a little bit of meat there. So hopefully they can get back in time just to keep us on track. But yeah, we're, we're very much struggling. We're very much struggling for food. I think that just dropped some food off. Can we explore? Can we find some berry bushes or something? Can we find anything else that will help us? Anything else at all? Um, what do we need? That's the amount of... That's actually the amount of stuff we need to get that working. So Alien, can you go and get building? That would be wonderful. Um, in fact, everybody get building. Everybody get building, please. We really do need the windmill up and running. We need bread. We need to make bread. That's going to be really, really useful. How much is left in there? Two is left in there. You're a logger. Uh, that's fine. You can you can carry on doing logging. In fact, you know what? No, come down and hunt. Food is critical. <laughs> Food is absolutely on the edge. So uh, yeah, we need to get this done. If we could all build a windmill, that would be wonderful. And then yeah, if there's any bushes, just any little berry bushes around, there must be some. We had loads near us to start with. So if we could just find maybe one of those, that might just help give us the tiniest boost of food. There is an antelope in here that we are hunting. It was very conveniently near the little sort of uh, town centre thing, but it has moved away a bit. That people seem very lacklustre and reluctant to go and get it. Come on, come on, we need this. We need this for the food. How is the windmill looking? Nine out of ten. This is the last bit coming in. This is splendid news. Okay, right, bang, 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 bang. We are starving. However, right, you go and get in there. You go and get in there. Everybody provide stuff. Okay, right, that's building a gate. That's absolutely fine. We can build the gate. Um, there's some people that are still just sort of stood about not doing anything. Right, can we just, can we get some bread? Can we produce bread from here? It, this is key. This is absolutely key. If we don't do this, we're probably going to starve to death and die. We really do need to get some food out of this. And now that we do have a windmill, we're probably going to need another little farm as well, I imagine. I guess a farm is going to be quite useful. So hopefully, are we making bread from in here now? I assume we're making bread. I guess that this is doing something. I'd like to think it's doing something. The alien is, yeah, moving stuff to the gate. That's fine. Yeah, so we're moving stuff into here. Okay, we're whacking it with a hammer for some reason. I quite know what we're doing that for. There we go. And then that looks like it's made some bread. Yeah, you're a baker. So let's have a look. What does that do to our food? Okay, it's topping it up. 
Oh, right. Okay. Okay. Right. That's one kind of minor disaster averted. But now, now we need to get this irrigated farm in. So we've got enough wheat to keep that going. Uh, there are some more antelopes over there. Um, and then, oh look, we've got a little gate. We've got a gate sorted. And then we need to get mining some stone. We need to actually get some stone in play. That's going to be useful. Oh, our gate isn't complete. Our gate is not actually done. Oh, hang on. Right. The alien can go and work on planks. That'll be helpful. And, um, Oh no, who have I sent to go and work on planks? I don't know. You? And I've just sent somebody into the middle of nowhere. <laughs> That's fun. I know we've got no wood. That's why. There is no wood. Okay, you can go chop that tree. And you can go and chop that tree. Absolutely. Right, let's get tree chopping. Oh, we need to build this thing to enable mining in the first place. Oh, okay, yeah, let's build one of these then. So that's going to store some rocks. We'll put that just there then. That makes perfect sense. And then that then takes the rocks and cuts them into stones. And then we put the stones over here, I guess, to finish off the pyramid. Okay, I see. Right, okay, that's making a little bit more sense. Right, I'm with you. There you go, alien. I mean, yeah, why couldn't you just tell us this? You're clever enough to get here in your spaceship. You could have at least invented a universal translator before you got here. There's a little symbol up here. What's that mean? What does that do? 27 days left. It looks it looks to me like a kind of asteroidy comedy meteor thing that's going to fall on our heads. I wonder if we've got 27 days left to repair the shipwreck and then the alien takes us away and saves us from this thing falling on our heads. I don't know. I'm now not entirely sure what's going to happen. Okay, well, there we go. Now there is a time limit as well. Um, so yeah, so nothing really happened overnight. There's a skeleton wandering around over there, but they didn't really do much. We will go and hunt that uh, that uh, antelope over there because we might as well get a bit more. And then how is this farm looking down here? Uh, yeah, it's looking okay. And the mining camp is also looking okay. We are going to need you. In fact, you, you can start working in the plank making place, the sawmill, to generate some planks so we can get the mining camp done so then we can get the rocks mined oh my goodness me right okay yeah there's there's quite a lot to do and the farm is done so the person who built the farm can then work on the farm so there we go now this is good because that means we've got more resources going to the windmill to create more bread our food is looking pretty good our food is looking really good right now i'm quite happy with that so now the big thing is getting this mining camp thing constructed i think our gate is still waiting to be finished as well so yeah we've got a few jobs to do We've got a few jobs to do. What's our alien doing? He's just sort of stood around, just looking a bit, looking a little bit lost. Do you want to drop off some stuff, alien? Do you want to get building instead? Maybe that could be quite useful. There we go. Right, you go and get building. Maybe we don't have any builders left. Okay, fine. Right, so we've got somebody doing some building. That's absolutely fine. We have an idle person. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on. We've got an idle person. Um, yeah, you've created... You've got lots of those. Right, you go and build that then. So you go and put some planks in here. Let's get the mining camp set up. So that is going to take five logs and five planks. We have, I've got four logs and a few planks. There's a skeleton just there. Hello, skeleton. Uh, oh, oh, hang on. There's a person recovering. Oh, no. Did they just get battered by a skeleton? Oh, that is absolutely unacceptable. Oh, no. Right. Yeah, I didn't notice that. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. Hopefully the skeleton will leave them alone. They're just sort of down and out of the camp for now. But hopefully, well, they'll, they'll be okay. They'll wake up in the morning, bit of a headache, and then, you know, they can just carry on doing whatever it was they were doing. Um, okay, well, there we go. We need to keep an eye on the skeleton thing. Because, yeah, this one has just sort of circumvented our great big wall. And is kind of on the other side of it, near our houses. How rude. This skeleton's getting a little bit brave. This skeleton's getting a little bit in our way. I'm not really happy with that. Hang on. Oh, the, right, the skeleton is kicking people around. Right, no, this is unacceptable. Right, fight. Oh, no. Oh, the skeletons have invaded. <laughs> Oh dear. Right, hang on, hang on. Go and fight. Go and fight the skeletons. I, how many people of ours are still conscious? I do not know. Right, good shot. Whoever took that first shot, very good. Right, keep firing. Oh, that's wonderful. Right, a couple more. A couple more shots need to go in. And bam, bam. And one more. One more. One more good hit on this and it will go away. Splendid. Okay, right. A lot of our population are currently lying down after being punched in the face by a skeleton. Yeah, this is this is not ideal, is it? Right, you two, go and get that one as well. All our resources look very sadly low, don't they? They look very, very tragically low. Uh, yeah, we could do with daytime coming round, and we could do with the skeletons just going away. 
Okay, and that skeleton has obliged and it has gone away. Okay, uh, right, what was everyone doing? We should get some people working on the farms. There we go, because the farms make food, of course, well, they make the wheat and then we can turn that into bread over there. Uh, but yeah, it, it's not looking good. It's not looking great. There's there's not that many people around now because lots of people are unconscious due to the skeleton invasion that we just suffered there. Oh dear. Okay, well, there we go. We're going to have to wait for them to wake up. Oh, it's going to take ages. It's going to take ages. We are going to run out of food, aren't we? We're, oh, no. It, oh, the skeletons are going to have got us. No. Right, do you know what? You go make some bread. We need you to make some bread because otherwise we're going to run out of food very, very, very quickly indeed. And how quick is the recovery going? I suppose the only thing is they're not going to eat food. I guess they're not going to eat any food because, you know, they're unconscious and all that kind of stuff. So I suppose there is that, I guess. But uh, but yeah, I'd rather have everybody working. But OK, never mind. We can't think about it. They're recovering. They'll get there. And the mining camp is done, which is good, I suppose. But there's nobody kind of, you know, conscious that we can go and send over to it. So we're going to have to wait a little while for these people to wake up so then they can go to the mining camp. That one there is nearly awake because you were the first to fall, I imagine, as the skeletons came in around this way. So, uh, right, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. So you can wake up and what we could do with getting some food. Some food is going to be very, very key. Oh, there is it. There's something there. There's something there. Go and get that. Go and get that right now. That will provide us with some nice, free, easy food. And we have somebody doing some mining. So currently we've got two chunks of stone just there. So now I think we need to get ourselves, it's an industry, isn't it? We need to get ourselves a masonry place. They can cut stones from rocks. So we'll put that just there. And then it looks like, yeah, we need to finish these bits off. So it needs five normal stones and five of the fancy stones. So we need quite a lot of stones going on. However, our food is looking very, very sad. Uh, we have quite a lot of idle people, actually. So yeah, if you could all get on with doing some stuff, lots of you could do some farming. Oh, the gate's finally finished. Hooray, <laughs> we finished the gate at long last. Right, we need some people doing some farming. Some people doing hunting would not go amiss. There is a bush just there. There is a bush. Who wants to go over and get that bush sorted? Um, who's not doing anything? Uh, you're not doing anything. You can go and grab some food. Just go and grab some berries from there. And um, is there anyone else not doing anything? You're, they're, they're not idle people though, are they? They're idle. You're idle because you're not doing anything. Uh, there's some food there. You can go and pluck stuff from that bush as well. That would be great. Uh, yeah, okay, right. It's just a sort of desperate... It's a desperate battle for food, really, isn't it now? It's a really desperate battle for food. Oh, the alien's not doing anything. Uh, alien, go and do some mining as well. Let's just get ourselves a great big load of rocks. Uh oh we're starving. We are now starving. We've got to the point where we've not quite got enough food ready. We are trying our best. I think we've just got over the limit for starving for one sort of meal. One meal time will be okay, but I think we are pushing it. We're really pushing our load. The skeletons have stayed away, which is quite fortunate. The skeletons are not bothering us, which is okay. And now we're starving again. Ah, oh, it looks very sad. Oh no. Oh, I mean, you know, it's, it's looking all right in terms of getting some resources. Uh, we want to get the stonemason in. That does require quite a lot of stuff. And we're doing a little bit of hunting, but I don't know if we can get this done. Right, don't be a farmer, be a baker. Let's see if we can get some people doing some baking. That would be great. What are you doing? You're a baker. Maybe the bread could save us. If we could get two people doing some, some baking of bread, that might be enough. It might just scrape us through. You're not doing anything. Come down here and get meat from that thing. That would be great. You're just sort of stood around. Oh, no. Oh no, the next time it goes ping, we're all going to die. <laughs> oh, no. Everyone's just going to starve to death. Um, can you can you come down here and hunt? Right, okay, the skeletons are gone. Don't need to care, but we do need to care about our you know, feeble, malnourished bodies. Let's see if we can survive. A bit of meat is going into there. It's just got us through. It's just got us through. We're, we're very much living on the edge. However, I can't see us getting all this stuff done. I can't see us getting all of this other stuff done as well. It's it's just a bit of a tall order. We've turned the food situation around. We've been quite lucky with lots of antelopes coming by. I mean, there was one over here and there's one over there. So they're not too far away from base. So they're quite nice and nearby. Right, do we have enough planks to finish this thing? Yes, we do. Right, okay. Get down here and finish the stonemason. Absolutely, this is crucial. This is really, really important. We need this in kind of really right now. And I think the stonemason is complete. Do you know what? You can go stonemasoning. Absolutely. So we've got loads of stone just there. So it should be that we just churn out loads of these sort of nice polished sort of block things. And then we take it over here, I guess. And we just finish this stuff off. 
Um, we have got a hunter out there, hunter sort of heading away. Maybe you didn't find something or whatever, but okay, that's fine. You come back this way. There are some skeletons out there. So we'll go hunting in the morning again. We'll gather a team of people and we'll go and do some hunting. But uh, yeah, if we could do this, if we get ourselves some, some blocks done, that would be quite nice. I don't quite know how exactly it works. But yeah, so we've got ourselves just some shapes. Done. Oh, now they just stood around looking confused. Um, do we need to store the stuff somewhere? Where do we store the cut stones. Where do we put those sorts of things? I do not know. I'm not entirely sure where we store these things. The thing here, the mining camp, that stores 18 rocks, but they're not rocks. They're like polished sort of stone. They're like nice blocks. They're, are they stones? Yeah, they're stones from rocks. So I'm not entirely sure where we can, where we store these things. I don't know. Is, is it something really obvious that I've missed? I don't know. We don't put them in schools or pantries or wells or whatever. I mean, a source of water. That seems like quite a good thing, actually. That might be quite useful. Maybe that will help with our food as well. You know, food and drink might be quite useful. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where these things go. Oh, no, our hunting squad got taken out by a skeleton. It turned to night and they must have been right next to a skeleton. They were just out hunting these two things over here. And they've all been taken out. Oh, no. And our food is looking perilously low. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, this is bad. Right. Those two can drop that stuff off. Go down here and hunt this one just here. Because this one is just around here on its own. It's all fine. Oh, no. Now, we have started work on the pyramid. We've started repairing a couple of bits of pyramid. It's taking quite a long time for us to get there. And food is looking very sad. Right, come on. Come on. Come on. Get down here and hunt this thing. Just kill it, please. Have we killed it? Have we killed it dead? No, it's still there. Kill it now. Kill it dead now. Yay. Right, okay. Grab that. The skelly bellies have gone. Our hunting squad are still... Oh, they're not even half recovered. And you were quite happily building a bit of pyramid. Oh, dear. Oh, dear me. Okay, right, hang on a minute. You're bringing some food back. We might just about be able to muddle through. <laughs> we might just muddle through. Okay, they've recovered. They're all back on their feet. And they've got themselves a bit of food to get their hands on. This is splendid, right? Okay, again, we're, we're living very much by the skin of our teeth, but it's okay. We'll try and get these people in and we'll try and get the food in and then we'll see what we can do with this pyramid over here. But yeah, we're just sort of building these these bits here. That might be a completed bit. No, one more, what's that like regular block going in? One more regular bit of uh, stone going into there. And that bit should be done. That bit should be looking pretty good. Okay, right, I'm quite happy with that. Well, there's a hunter over here. Could you could you get building? It'd be really good if you could just get on with some building. That would be great. So we've got the alien building this as well. We've got all sorts of people on board. But let's watch our first bit of pyramid get completed. Oh, lovely. Oh, my goodness. We've got to build across the top as well, have we? Ah, there's a skeleton. There's a skeleton just there. Oh, no, 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 no. Right, slow, slow time down. Slow time down. Right. Fight the skeleton. Shoot at the skelly belly. And you as well. Person stood there doing absolutely nothing, watching other people get attacked. Right. We can take you down, Skelly Belly Boy. And one last good shot. Oh, no. Oh, you've been boshed. And there we go. Okay. Not perfect. Oh, our people over there have been taken down as well. Our people over there have suffered. Okay. Run along here. We will fight this skeleton. Look out, little alien friend. Look out. There's a skeleton. And they're really, really grumpy. They are very grumpy skeletons. They are out to kill you. You're taking your blocks over here. But they're going to come and get you. That's really hard. They're constructing that thing. It's going to take ages. And the alien's been punched in the noggin as well. Right, skeleton. We're going to come and get you. Because you're just horrible. You're just horrible. You're picking on our people. We've done nothing to you. You're just jealous. He's jealous of all of the, whatever, you know, the flesh and the blood and the sinews and all that kind of stuff. But okay. And there you go. Right. One down. Ah, dearie me. Okay, let's put them out the front. They'll have to become hunters. Oh, hang on. Go and hunt that thing. It's within our territory. That's perfect. Uh oh Starving. Starving is happening. We need to get this thing. We need to get this thing very soon. So we've got a couple of hunters on it. If we can get this, we have missed. It's all down to you. Right, okay. Go and get this right now. We really, really need the food because <laughs> when everybody next comes to eat, there's not going to be enough and it's going to be the end. I mean, some of our people are still lying down. Our alien friend is still recovering. This person over here is still recovering. We're slowly working on the pyramid. That is a very big job. The amount of stone you need to get that done, that's very, very big. And um, and yeah, we're having a little bit of a problem with it. There is a baker just there, but I don't know where everyone else is. Where's everybody else gone? It seems to be there's not really that many people around. There's some people down here doing, you know, grabbing the stone and stuff. Right, are these going to get back here before we have to eat again? It's it's going to be really close. <laughs> Please, just throw it. Just a really good arm could lob that in. And is it going to be enough for another meal time? 
I don't know if it's going to be enough. Right, we've staved off starving one more time. It's becoming trickier though, isn't it? It's becoming very, very tricky indeed to get rid of that, to stop the starving stuff happening. Um, okay, right, well, we'll soldier on. We'll soldier on. We'll see how well we can do. Oh no, some of our gatherers have got got by some skeletons up here. I didn't see a skeleton up here. I wonder if they're obscured by this tree or something. I did look and think, well, they're going up there. Ah, it's fine. There's no skeletons. Um, okay, right. We're, we're moments away from the end. Unless we can get some food, hopefully this skeleton leaves us alone and we can kill this thing. I can't see any other antelope anywhere. The bread is not enough. The bread is not enough. So yeah, we are... We're going to need this. We need this. Unless the baker can make a really massive loaf of bread or something like that. Or one that's very, very filling. Then, uh, yeah, this is going to be it. It's all down to you. It's all down to you. Uh, the time's ticking down. We're not going to do it. We are going to starve. Oh, no. <laughs> we gave it a very good shot. But, yeah, that one's gone. And our civilization has perished. We survived for 14 days. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'll take 14 days. That's okay. I like the way the skeleton is coming in and still just being horrible and mean. But uh, but yeah, yeah, that didn't help up there. That skeleton getting the people that were grabbing those berries and stuff, that did not help. Taking them out meant we didn't bring the food back. And of course, that was the end of that. But um, And we only got one pyramid piece completed. And it looks like there's quite a lot. It looks like you'd have to build the base. And then of course you've got what a number on the top and then some more on top of that. And then even more on top of that as well. So that's that's quite hard. That's quite hard to get that done in that time frame. But, uh, but we gave it a good go. And at least we did get to the point where we could start constructing these. It's just a shame that we didn't get to see the end of it. But never mind, never mind. We gave it a good try. Ah, well, there we go. I mean, we gave it a good try. It was the pesky skeletons that kept coming in the way. Those skelly bellies causing us all that trouble. If they weren't there, ah, oh, we would have been fine. We would have been flying away on that spaceship with our little green alien friend. But uh, but never mind, never mind. It wasn't to be. I do like that, though. I think that's quite interesting because it's a settlement builder. And that's fine. And you've got your traditional things like you gather your food and you gather your wood and you gather your stone and all that kind of stuff. But then you do have that peril of at night time, there are some monsters, yeah, which makes things interesting. It spices things up a little bit. But then you do have that little alien fella coming in and giving you a bit of a goal, saying, can you please build a pyramid? Because I don't know what the pyramid would do, but I assume that maybe his... I know alien buddies would come in and see the pyramid and that's some sort of beacon or something. I don't really know. I don't know why he wants a pyramid. Maybe he just loves pyramids. Who doesn't love a pyramid? So yeah, maybe he wants that completed to call his buddies so we can get out of here or whatever. So yeah, there is an end. There is an actual end to that game as well. So it's not just, you know, you've just built something and keep expanding. There's an actual goal, which I do like. And it involves an alien and a spaceship. I mean, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't prepared for an alien in a spaceship kind of thing in a little settlement builder like this. But there we go. So, well, yeah, that was very enjoyable. That was very good fun indeed. Hopefully you did enjoy it too. If you did, then please do leave a like. That would be very, very lovely indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other nonsense and shenanigans that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. This sports car is indeed illegal. You clearly couldn't see the sign saying no cars. I have found the place where I'm going to live forever. The Tea and Biscuits Cafe. I want to rename the dog. Uh, let's call it uh, Wuffles. Wuffles McBark. Behold, the power of the blimp.